Welcome to the overview of Kinetic Text Animator version 1.4. There's a lot to look at here because Carvel's been very busy. Um, if I want to distill down what he's done, I could say that you know, he's taken the uh, video joiner app that's inside of Video Tool Chest and taken some of that functionality and put it into Kinetic Text Animator. But that's really a simplified um, kind of way of saying it because as you'll see, he's done a lot more than that. Uh, but I just, you know, that could be one way of looking at it. And then also he's improved the dimensional jolt uh, animation considerably. So let's just uh, dive in here. This is the template from our upcoming, our, our the just released Easy Video Templates Power Pack. And um, I'll be talking about that here in just a little bit to see because we're going to use an example from it. But I'm going to go ahead and just click on a video. And you can see one of the neat things that Carvel's done is he's, it takes away the distractions because we're now working on a video. And we have this nice handy kind of functionality here. You'll notice this box here. We also have um, the numerical sizing and whatnot up here. And we have um, the ability to add and remove layers down here. And we'll take a look at all of that here in a second. Just wanted to show you though how neat it is. It can just kind of boom. I see uh, everything here um, ready to, you know, it's just boom. I have, I have just the functionality right here. We'll walk through that here in just a second because we're going to use some of this. Uh, but, you know, if I, if I want those functionalities, I can bring them right back. It just gets them out of the way under the assumption that you want to focus in on that video while you have it selected. Once I click on one of the animation blocks, you can see that comes back up with it context sensitive. Just trying to make it easy. Always trying to, you know, kind of make it nice and user friendly. Um, so that's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and just start from scratch. Let's just delete these blocks and um, I'll bring in some new content here and some new animations. So um, I'm going to go ahead and add an animation here so that I'm ready to go. But let's open up here. And what I'm going to do, you see here that I've got this set up for my templates. This is the folder that contains a lot of the content from the uh, Easy Video Editor that I just mentioned. Um, and I've actually drilled down currently into that uh, folder. I don't need to. So I have all these. These are the folders. These are the free packs. If you haven't gotten those, uh, I've been posting them on Facebook. Um, and so you can uh, grab those. There's 16 now and there's uh, eight more coming. So, um, and, but what I'm now, I'm right at this point, I'm looking at these assets that I've included, which are all the videos that are, that the, the templates were composed of. And um, I just want to point out, you have those if you've grabbed the templates. And you can see here, I'm just going to do a keyword search for um, happy. And I'm going to leave it at a media search instead of the template. And so what it's going to do is it's going to find um, some of the video content that I use to create those videos. So let's add a couple of videos. So I'm going to add that one. And I have another video layer here. So let's click on that one. And we'll go in and we'll do another keyword search for happy. Same thing. And we'll get another one in here. How about this one? So I have two different videos here. And let me zoom out a little bit. And they're not the same length. I wanted to be able to demonstrate some of this functionality here. So let's say I actually want them to play side by side. So let's go on this first one and make it 540. And it's going to size down. And it's actually, this is this other one's on top. Let's move it up though. Move it to the top. So now we can see that. Now let's click on this one. And I can do the same thing, 540. Okay. Now it's kind of hiding. So let's drag it over. So you can see I can drag it around. I can size it on with these blue handles also, but it's really nice to be able to size it here. But here's something that's really neat. Because I have the ability to numerically position something, I can go something, do something like this. And I think it's 960. Yeah, and so I'm side by side now. Now they're playing side by side, but they don't have the same length. And that's where this comes in handy. So I have this particular video. Let's let's, let's yeah, this one's a selected, even though that other timeline is selected. But let's. Um, so I want to either trim or scale this uh, video to match this one, so they are the same duration. Well, if I trim it, um, I would be cutting off part of the video. So if I want to, I can have it scaled. You can see I can toggle between the two. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do scale, and what that's going to do is it's going to keep the entire contents of the video. In this case, it's going to make it play faster when I get them to drag in position. Now, let me go here and get the timeline. I'm kind of get where it ends here. So you can see here, I'm like I'm looking at a 14.933. So it's a little bit before that, just before that. So I could try to basically get this one with scale on and try to get it to match that 14.933. And 
you know, it, I don't think I'm going to get perfect, but I, you know, I'm getting pretty close. And if I zoom in, I can get even closer. So let's get that to try to match. There we go. And so um, we have the ability to do that, which is really great, really powerful, much more versatile um, and so forth. And I'm really excited to be able to share with you that we have that power now. So let's, I uh, went too far. Now, um, here's another neat thing. Say I wanted to add a video layer. I can now drag between those layers. So let's go over here so we can see it better. So I can drag between the layers, which is very, very nice. You have the ability to snap two layers. You have um, uh, video on complete is basically uh, kind of a, a freeze frame kind of thing going on at the end. We'll do more in-depth videos. I, I don't want to be lingering on every feature here too long. I uh, got a lot to show you here. So, um, so that's pretty handy. There are lots of useful features. You can um, I add audio layers, add animation layers. You can see that uh, if if I have too many layers, I can scroll now using my trackpad. Uh, probably a mouse wheel as well. Um, and if I want to get rid of layers, you see I have that extra video layer now. I can just go ahead and click on with the extra video layers selected. I can click on remove and it gets rid of that. <clears throat> so pretty helpful stuff. So uh, that's neat. Now let's take a look quickly at the new dimensional jolt animation. So you can see here that let's go ahead and uh, find that. There's the dimensional jolt. There we go. And so I'll turn on a grid here, get it to kind of show in this area. Hide the grid. Of course, I need a font. Let's do my classic chunk five. Um, you know, get it to be a little bit bigger. Some, okay, so we'll just do dimensional jolt. Be good if I could spell. All right. And um, let's go ahead and make the, huh, that's a, all those settings look pretty good. So let's just go ahead and see what we get out of that. Looks like my grid didn't, didn't stick. I needed to have it on, I guess. So. But there we go. So you see, though, that what we have now is the ability to control the time that it animates in. I have the ability to set a, a lasting duration, basically more controls over the overall animation, making it much more versatile and useful. useful. So um, those are the core features inside of Kinetic Text Animator. What you're going to find here is that uh, one of the main reasons why we did this is we are about to come out with Easy Video Market. Um, that's why Easy, Easy Video Templates is the first of our products for the Easy Video Market. And um, we're basically going, wanted to augment the ability to make useful templates for you. Um, and this, this has really done that. So. Uh, you want to go ahead and check out you if you go to easy video market this you click on this button you can check out easy video templates if you haven't already and pretty soon you'll find courses and other free content here and hopefully we are also going to work with other vendors to create uh, content as well and really it's all hopefully about your ability to find a key keyword search for something that's useful for you um, you know if you're wanting to do time Maybe you're doing a video about time. You want to be able to do a template search for something like that. Find something that you can use and edit it quickly and move on with the rest of your video. So we're trying to facilitate that with um, our, with these updates in Connect Text Animator and just give you a more powerful functionality uh, timeline and all that kind of stuff so that you can make awesome videos with Kinetic Text Animator. So I hope you're excited about this. Thanks a lot for checking this out. And we appreciate your support, suggestions, and re reports of bugs and so forth. So thanks a lot.